see. And it was most of the images and a little anecdote. And it had you often had some humor, and that was that was good. So that's that kind of how the genesis of this book came uh, came about. Um, I kind of backed into it. Um, so one of the things that is underrepresented in in the literature about gardening is the violence of, of gardening, um, and uh, it's I think for the most part, uh, uh, if you take it seriously as a moral challenge, it's a it's a tonic kind of violence. You know, it's the, it's an honest. It, honest and inevitable kind of violence, not a, a gratuitous violence. So, so this tries to uh, this tries to encapsulate some of that. It's called Garden Noir. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the squashes have crossed again. This one is supposed to be an acorn squash, but it looks like a billy club with warts. <laughs> How far apart do I have to keep these plants? <laughs> Some vegetables have no shame. <laughs> and look at this. Telltale spots on the tomato leaves. Under my pocket magnifier, pretty yellow rings with dead tissue in the center. Necrosis caused by who knows what, a virus, a fungus, some mutant pathogen, probably infectious. Better rip up the whole lot before it spreads to the peppers. Listen, you've got to be tough to grow vegetables. <laughs> tough, smart, and a little bit mean. <laughs> because plants are headstrong and narcissistic, prey to all the sins of the flesh. They'll strangle each other when you aren't looking. <laughs> Make no mistake. In the quest for food, beauty, and truth, a lot of creatures are going to get hurt. 